Remove the finger tight fitting. Use an Allen driver to loosen the two Allen screws. Remove the probe cover. Unscrew and remove the metal needle insert. Reinstall the metal needle insert in the probe. Tighten the insert. Ensure that the tip of the ESI needle protrudes one millimeter from the tip of the ESI nozzle. The metal needle will, per will protrude half a millimeter from the tip of the ESI needle. Check that the orientation of the union corresponds to the groove in the cap. Reinstall the cap. Use the Allen driver to tighten the two Allen screws. Reconnect the peak tubing. Remove the spray shield after your shirt is cool. Use the tool in the accessory kit to remove the ion transfer tube. If the ion transfer tube is not loose, use an Allen driver or a screwdriver to loosen it. Then manually unscrew the ion transfer tube. Carefully remove the ion transfer tube. When you remove the ion transfer tube, you will notice that it has a slight bend. This bend is normal. The bend is caused when you install the ion transfer tube in the S-Lens assembly. Carefully insert the ion transfer tube into the assembly. Use the tool from the accessory kit to tighten the ion transfer tube. Reinstall the spray shield. The capillary heater cage assembly is easily removed by pulling on the lever. You might need to reverse the direction in order to facilitate the removal. Loosen the thumb screws. Hold the thumb screws between your fingers and pull the S lens from the assembly. Remove the exit lens. The assembly components are cleaned in methanol water. Install the S-Lens in the assembly. Ensure that the contact pins correspond with the contacts in the assembly. Install the exit lens in the assembly. Ensure that the pin goes into the grounding hole. Screw in the thumb screws.
For the TSQ Vantage, performance is demonstrated by loop injections through a Javelin column. The column is located in the box that contains the HESI-2 probe. Install the column into the grounding union. Then connect your LC to the column.